On Good Friday, the fifth day of Holy Week, Christians remember the death of Jesus of Nazareth. On this day, the church is in mourning and encourages the faithful to fast and abstain from eating meat. At around three o'clock in the afternoon, the time of Christ's death, the liturgy of the Passion of Our Lord is celebrated. Before the ceremony starts, all the lights of the church are turned off. The altar and the side transepts are bare of any ornament, and the priest and the deacon are dressed in red in memory of the blood spilled from Jesus on the cross. In Rome at 5 p.m., Pope Francis started the service by walking to the cross in absolute silence. He then prostrated himself in front of it, recalling the passion of the Lord. During Good Friday's Liturgy of the Word, the whole account of the Passion is proclaimed, followed by a brief homily and by universal prayer. After the supplications, the adoration of the cross begins. After this, the priests kissed the cross, and after them, the faithful present did the same. The Pope made his way to the front of the basilica, and chanting a prayer, he went ahead with the cross covered with a red drapery. When he reached the altar, the cross lay completely uncovered. The money collected during this liturgy is given each year to the funding of the upkeep of the holy places where Jesus Christ lived. In addition to the Liturgy of the Passion, in many places, Good Friday is also the day where the Via Crucis is prayed. The Via Crucis literally means the way of the cross. Through 14 stations, the faithful recall one by one the different stages Jesus completed on the way to his death on the cross. In Rome, the Pope presided over the Via Crucis at the Colosseum. The amphitheater, dating back to ancient Rome, where thousands of Christian martyrs lost their lives. At the end of the 14 stations, the Holy Father asked mercy to God for the sins of our world, which he said seems lost today. O Cristo, nostro unico salvatore, O Christ, our only Saviour, we return to you this year with eyes lowered in shame and hearts filled with hope. Shame for all the images of devastation, destruction and wreckage that have become a normal part of our lives. Shame for the innocent blood shed daily by women, children, migrants and people persecuted because of the colour of their skin or their ethnic and social diversity or because of their faith in you. Shame for our silence before injustices for our hands that have been lazy in giving and greedy in grabbing and conquering, for the shrill voices we use to defend our own interests and the timid ones we use to speak out for others, for our feet that are quick to follow the path of evil and paralyzed when it comes to following the path of good. Shame for all the times that we bishops, priests, consecrated men and women have caused scandal and pain to your body, the Church for having forgotten our first love, our initial enthusiasm and total availability, leaving our hearts and our consecration to rust. At the end of his prayer, the Pope invited the faithful not to lose hope, because good will triumph over evil.